see here and tell me that you don't literally agree with what i'm saying hello my youtube peeps you know what today is yeah, I don't know. I was hoping uh, you guys would say it because I don't know. Today, we are getting into something kind of different. I thought it was great since we are ending Fortnite soon. I thought it would be fun to kind of compare last chapter to this chapter. So if you don't know, we are in chapter five of Fortnite and we want to compare it with chapter four. But as a reminder, if you are getting anything in the Fortnite item shop, please use the code OKOOKIE and make sure you like this video like it like it right now like it right now like it right now so first of all i'm not gonna start off and say which chapter was my personal favorite i'm kind of curious what is yours before we actually compare the two let me know down in the comments which chapter was your favorite was it chapter four was it chapter five i want to know so if you don't remember chapter four had four seasons are we counting og as one of the seasons i don't know i'm just gonna say that it had five seasons in total this was the i feel like this chapter was literally one of the chapters that put fortnite back and you know what no, i'm not trying to be biased because i did come back to fortnite in chapter four i'm not gonna lie i didn't play chapter four season one i don't have any of these skins and i'm so pissed because i really want this chick over here this i feel like was probably the start of it i'm sure i kept hearing a lot of great things about this chapter even though i didn't have really play it you know i did have friends and people that played it themselves and i always heard some really good things about this chapter so i really can't tell you what the story was i mean we could read it right quick So I finally read a little bit more about this season, chapter four, season one. And honestly, I was lost. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, I saw a lot, it was a lot about a Rick and a shapeless man and it's bringing back the Herald. So I do remember the Herald, but it looks like they were trying to figure out the shapeless man and riffs came about. I don't know if I got that right. Let me know if I'm even saying it correctly, but that's what I pretty much got from this season. Kelsey is her name. I'm so mad. I really wanted her. Then came chapter four, season two. This is when I personally came back for Mega. Oh my goodness. It was so fun. I remember seeing the trailer. Oh my goodness. This is going to be a fire season. Like there was so many cool things. So many cool characters that came in the battle pass i thought this chick was super cool and how could we ever forget this was the season for the official katanas oh my goodness r.i.p katanas this was the best movement in this game i personally feel like if you agree with me if you don't agree with me i feel like there's nothing that could beat what the katanas were and also this is a season that high wire came into the battle pass you know what really had this season pop off it was the map the map was the best part of this chapter in season we had anvil square we had brutal bastion i'm not even gonna lie i used to like the citadel so i know a lot of people liked it at first and then eventually it died off i understand why then my personal favorite spot that i used to love to land was frenzy field i feel like this was like literally this was like the birth of me like i came out the womb in this season and it was just so fun not only that we have the the weapons for chapter four so this is where the gatekeeper shotgun came in that i absolutely love we have the hand cannon we have the tag ar i don't know why we still have the hammer pump but it was in this chapter two i will forever say that the red eye ar was my baby after that we had season three of chapter four and i feel like we all talk so badly about this season this was the wilds this is when the mud sliding came in we had a bunch of trees everywhere there was just so many things that happened in this chapter and season that we talked so badly about and now i'm like dang why did we talk so badly about it this was also the season that raptors officially came in i don't know what's worse the raptors from wilds or the cars that was in the last season for some reason those raptors were just crazy <laughs> but let's 
let's get into the season three weapons we had the flapjack rifle which i feel like was kind of crazy because it hit hard and the mag was insane it felt like it was endless and of course this was the most annoying shotgun and that's the drum shotgun the endless amount of bullets that this weapon had but who can also forget the MKAR? This weapon was so good. I remember the thermal DMR. I absolutely hated this weapon. I'm not even gonna lie. If you were able to hit your shots, you can actually hit your shots with this DMR. This was also the official season where Transformers came in and was part of the battle pass. I was grinding so hard to get this skin, even though I don't wear it ever. But I was like, I have to have the Transformers skin next we have is chapter four season four mega city was at its prime i feel like we had the cool skins we had some cool weapons i remember this is what it is the rocket ram went crazy we had turrets we felt like literally secret agents anywhere we go which now that i think about it this was probably the indicator that we were gonna get agency season back maybe Cobby lane to be in the battle pass it still makes no sense why he was there but he this was the season that he was in and for the weapons he had this was probably the most op weapon of this season the mk if you got a hold of this from the vault you were good also we can't forget the collabs that we had as well for this chapter we had the juju kaisen collabs we had the future rama collabs we also got the michael myers and the jack skeleton this chapter and also this was the chapter for another big event which had eminem okay let's be for real travis scott's was way better <laughs> this chapter was also the birth of the most sweatiest skins the caper skin and lastly i feel like this is when fortnite hit its peak og season i'm gonna say my opinion please do not take offense to this i hated og season it was literally impossible as a zero build player and i understand because it was only build at the time but a lot of people liked it this is when fortnite kind of came back at its peak because of all the og players they used to play back then came back the movement was absolutely horrible this was the only movement we had which was the golf cart but it was pretty cool because you could fit your whole squad into it but brother like literally it was so hard to find this i feel like when you think about it it's kind of crazy we went from a golf cart to literally the freaking car cars everywhere shooting everywhere like it, it it's crazy compared to this you know what but i would rather take this car back instead of the cars that we have now now let's talk about chapter five this chapter it brought me hope oh, wait no pun intended even though it's hope in the picture i just like i said i absolutely hated the og season and then seeing this we had a train that was gonna go across the whole map which looks super cool but i think what was crazy about this season is you see in the picture those shields those shields was crazy it blocked literally anything and everything i don't know what i would take those shields or the captain america shield actually i would take this one because you knew that the shield will not be thrown at you so you know what i think i would rather take this shield instead of captain america's but let's talk about some of the weapons that came to the season still is in the season we still do have the gatekeeper shotgun which is still my favorite shotgun i would say we had the oscar frenzy auto shotgun i don't know why i love the auto shotgun this was also the chapter for the greek mythology goddesses and the thunderbolts were insane the first day it dropped and then i feel like it got nerfed i can't remember right now people figured out how to literally knock someone while you have that because these are crazy animation that takes forever to end now the nemesis ar was a pretty good ar also i don't think it can compare to chapter Chapter 4's Twin Mag, Red Eye. It doesn't even compare. It, it literally doesn't. We can't lie. But there is this one weapon that could stay forever vaulted, and that is the Huntress DMR. Anytime I saw this weapon, it pissed me off. <laughs> let's not forget the skins we're still getting tons of it as we go throughout the chapter i'm super excited for cruella and captain hook and maleficent we have 
new variations for The Nightmare Before Christmas and Jigsaw. We have Billy now. So if I had to compare, okay, besides, so we have collaborations. We have Shaq, we have Jigsaw, Nightmare Before Christmas. We have The Incredibles that also collab this season. We have the Black Cat. We also had the Pirates of the Caribbean come here. We had Nick A30. We had Metallica come to the shop. I feel like the list literally goes on. Comparison from chapter five to chapter four. Chapter five takes the win for skins because they did so many dope collabs for this chapter that I cannot knock them. This was also the official map that came out. We have a little bit of changes because of the whole Halloween updates and that the chapter is ending, but this is a season where Nitro Dome came in. It's the most loudest POI for no apparent reason. Restored reels. Restored reels is my favorite by far. So which is the better chapter compared to each other? Is it the weapons that make it better? The skins? The map? So the winner, in my opinion, is definitely chapter four. Chapter four will forever have my heart, not just because that's when I came back to the game, but it actually felt fun. I feel like there was so many different things that you could do that weren't broken. I mean, there were like the drum shotgun that was broken, but it was like doable. And I feel like now with chapter five, there's so many broken things that it kind of feels unfair. But the only thing I can Think for chapter five is that this was the official season we got reload and i absolutely love reload and i'm super excited to see the next chapter chapter six is literally around the corner so i'm curious let me know which chapter was your favorite was it chapter four was it chapter five i really want to know